and we can get into the two string. We'll hop back over into the index of web and the two string will take a numeric field and convert it to a string. That's a very easy way to remember that one. And to go the other way, that would be two number, so to a number from string. So let's take a look at an example. Go back into index of web. And we'll just stay working with the um, bytes field, but let's take this numeric value and convert it to a string with the two string function. So we'll create a new field called bytes to hex, apply the two string function, and we'll give it our field that exists of bytes and say we want to convert it to hexadecimal format. And then I'm just going to rename it so it looks a little bit cleaner in the table. I'm going to call it um, hexadecimal byte value. <laughs> And we should um, table this out. Let's see what it looks like. Well, we should probably add in uh, what it converted from. So let me add in uh, bytes and run this. And there we are. There are our bytes to hexadecimal. Um, 1665 for bytes should equal a hexadecimal value of 0x681 in hex. Now that's the two string. So that took numeric, put it to a string. Numeric value of bytes, put it into a string value um, of hex. Now if we want to go the other way, let's do to a number. And we can just apply the, the same concept here. Uh, let's just copy this hexadecimal value and we should get 1665 if we go the other way. So now we'll do a field that we're going to create and call hex to bytes. Actually, we'll just do decimal, but because that's, that's what it is. Um, it's also a numeric value. And we'll set it equal to the two number, and then we're going to say we want to take our hex value, 0x681, and put it into a decimal value. So this will pull that number from the previous output and apply base 16 to then return that decimal value. And we're going to table that with our new field of hex to decimal. And we should see 1665. Yep, there it is. Pretty cool. That was our original hex value. All right.